Welcome to Leesburg. Today's daily update for January 5th. I'm Kara Clark. The Loudoun County School Board adopted its capital improvement program last night after hours of debate, accelerating the construction of two new schools in the Ashburn area. The plan totals more than $350 million in new construction over the next two years, including two new high schools, three elementary schools, and two middle schools, as well as renovations to Catoctin Elementary School, computer labs for Guilford and Sully Elementary Schools, and science lab and art studio renovations at Parkview High School. Following action by the Board of Supervisors, the school board agreed that a new elementary school will be built at the county-owned Farmwell property and the middle school near Newton Lee Elementary School with plans to build both next year. The board also approved delaying the construction of the high school at the Loudoun Valley Estates II subdivision until FY13. For more on the CIP, look in the schools section of our website. The holiday spirit had apparently worn off on one man shopping at Dulles Town Center over the weekend. The Loudoun County Sheriff's Office is seeking the public's help in identifying a man involved in a fight at the Sears Department Store Sunday. According to the Sheriff's Office, at approximately 2.40 p.m., the victim, a 39-year-old Herndon man, and another customer were standing at the end of the customer service line when the suspect made some disparaging remarks about the store's employees. The victim objected to the man's statements and the two exchanged words, after which the suspect physically assaulted the victim. There was no weapon involved. Store employees intervened and the suspect left the store. The victim was treated at a local hospital for serious but non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect is described as a white male in his 30s or 40s, approximately 6 foot 3 inches tall, with a heavy build, brown hair, and a goatee. Anyone with information about the suspect or the incident is asked to contact Investigator M. Bush of the Loudoun County Criminal Investigations Division at 703-777-0475. No news may be bad news for Leesburg residents itching to see another alternative for their neighborhood's future alignment with Route 15. January 1st came and went without a response from lenders on a country club drive home the town is seeking to purchase for the construction of a one-way access road. The access road project was approved by the town council over the summer as a way to alleviate the stress caused by the future configuration of Linden Hill Way and Route 15. Upon completion of the South King Street road widening project, the intersection will allow right in, right out, and left in access only meaning residents will need to make a U-turn at Greenway Drive to access points north. With that option proving less than satisfactory to residents, the council authorized Town Attorney Jeanette Irby to offer to purchase the One Country Club Drive home for $375,000 to allow for access road construction. The deadline for lenders to respond was extended to January 1st, although the Town Attorney reported this week that no response has been received. Irby said she will ask for Town Council direction on how best to move forward. The access road cannot be built without purchasing the home, as there is not enough right-of-way without it. Finally, Anova Loudon Hospital received a New Year's gift this afternoon from representatives of the Cherry Blossom Breast Cancer Foundation of Middleburg. The foundation presented staff of the Breast Care Institute with a pledge for $75,000 towards the purchase of a stereotactic breast biopsy table. Without the medical equipment, the hospital currently transfers patients out of the county for these biopsies. Valued at $125,000, once purchased, hospital staff estimate that more than 100 additional patients a year will be able to be treated at Inova Loudon. For more on these and other stories around our community, visit us online at leesburgtoday.com.